Hi everybody, this is Lori and Avery, and we're here to do a kids yoga. We are going to do some breathing, some floor moving, and then we're gonna do a little bit of acrobatics, and Avery's begging to show some kid headstands. So we're gonna do that, and then at the end, we're gonna put our knees together, our foreheads together, and say some, some the big word is words of affirmation, but it's really just nice words, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get in a comfortable position. There's three parts of breathing, of yoga breathing, that helps us kiddos. Um, so the first part is we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Let's do that a couple times. Good job. Then we breathe with our hands. So make a book with your hands and see if you can blow your hair. Did you blow so big it blew your hair? Try again. And then we're gonna calm down. So we're gonna put our fingers up and touch our fingers and say, I am calming down. Big breath in, out, one more. Okay, so there have been a lot of big emotions recently, and so it's okay to feel anything you're feeling, but we want to breathe the things away we cannot control. We want to remember what's most important. So look in your hand and figure out what you feel like is most important. For me, it's my family, it's um, food and shelter and fun, um, and yoga is really important to me. It makes me feel really good. Um, reading and cuddling, those are really important to me. What's most important to you? Probably my family, a shelter, love, and food. Okay, and what about you guys watching? What's most important to you? Wait a second. Okay, so the most important things are the things that you want to spend the most feelings for. Like you want to, if you're worried, if it's not the most important things, you can let some of that go. If you're sad, but it's not about the most important things, you can let some of that go, okay? If you're really excited, but it's not about the most important things, you can let some of that go. So if you feel like you have too many feelings sometimes, you can let some of that go, okay? So look around at all the other feelings, all the other things you're, you're doing and saying and thinking. It's not your most important, you can let some of that go, okay? And the same thing, you still have a lot of feelings, it's okay to talk about them with someone you love. So we sometimes we have to calm down and talk about them. So say, I am calming, calming down. down. Okay, so that's our three steps. Let's start with a feeling, okay? So show me what worried looks like. She's got a great worried face. <laughs> okay, so breathe in, breathe out. Let go of anything that's not your most important. Find your most important, breathe in. Okay, and then try to calm down to talk about your, your worried, ready? I am calming down, breathe in. So it's okay to feel worried or sad or anything else, but we wanna boss that, okay? So we boss it by letting go parts we can't control that aren't our most important by making sure we're putting love and energy into our most important and then calming down to talk about it. Okay. So show me your sad face. Okay. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel sad, but we want to boss our sad. We don't want to throw our sad everywhere or we don't want to feel so much sad that we can't really do anything that's important to us because we just feel so sad because it just doesn't feel good. Okay. Yoga makes us feel good. So let's go ahead and let go of, it, of our sad that we can't control. All those extra things that aren't our most important, find your most important, breathe some love and energy into it. All right, and then talk, calm down enough to talk about our sad. I am calming Okay, one more feeling. What about excited? Maybe we, all day we've just been eating treats and snacks and, and granola bars and ice cream and oh my goodness, it feels so awesome. And all we've been doing is sitting around and watching shows and we have all kinds of energy.
energy. We've not used any of it. We have all this energy. It's okay to be excited too. And I can give her some of my excited and she can give me some of hers. But if we can't boss it, we have so much excitement. We don't, we don't know how to boss it and we're throwing stuff and we're knocking stuff over and we're being wild and crazy and our parents are getting grumpy with us. It's okay to be excited, but we want to, to control any of our feelings so we can boss of them, okay? So show me you're excited. Okay, some things we can't control. So breathe in and let it go. Find your most important. And then calm down to talk about it. I am calming down. Good job. All right, let's do a little bit of moving. So bring your feet behind you. Now they're behind. <laughs> there we go. All right, your hands. Move your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And shake your bottom a little bit like a puppy. Loosen up your hips just a little bit, okay? Can you bring your one side down and look at, or out and look at it? One part of your puppy tail. Okay, bring your other puppy tail out and look at it. Okay, then let's actually be puppy. So we're gonna let our belly try to touch our thighs and we're gonna bring our heart to the floor. Can you be a puppy? Good job. Okay, glue your hands back down. Pretend like you have a little mouse in your hand and it goes, Squeeze, 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 and it's got superpowers. Okay, so it's gonna squeak up to the ceiling. Squeak, 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 squeak. Take a big breath in. Let it run into its house. And drop onto your shoulder, not your neck. Breathe. Squeak, 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 and go into its house. Squeak, 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 squeak. All right, come back. All right, let's be lions. Can you let your knees kiss? Walk your hands back and say, roar. Okay. Can you be a lion with your tongue out? <laughs> okay, good job. Now we're going to come in a child pose. So let your feet kiss each other and open your knees. Then we're going to slide our hands in front of us and try to let our belly kiss the floor. Three. All right, come back up. And then we're going to walk our hands to one side. Slide out. Three. And come back. Walk your hands out the other way and breathe. All right, come back together. All right, so we're gonna come to down dog and Avery and I are gonna turn a little bit so you can see us better, but you can stay where you are. Okay, so we're gonna glue our hands to the floor, glue our feet behind us and raise our bottoms up and let our heels, nope, you're on the, there you go. Let our heels kiss the floor up and down. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Good job. Look between your hands and walk your hands up. Good job. Now raise up and pat your thighs. Okay, then touch the floor again. Raise up big. Make your arms big over your head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your hands to your chest. And touch the floor one more time. Glue your hands, walk your feet back, make a road. Okay, so our roads, you want cars to drive up and down your back. You don't want your road up high or down low. Make a road, breathe. Let your bellies touch the floor. Bring your elbows under your shoulders and raise up just a bit, breathe. Put your hands under your shoulders. Push back to down dog. Breathe. Walk your hands to your feet. Touch the floor. So put the palms, the bottom of your hands under the bottom of your feet. Now you might have to be really careful not to fall over. 
but give a gentle tug and see if you can get a little bit of stretch in your back. All right, then move your hands out, rings up. I'm gonna do this on my knees so you can see me better, but go ahead and stand up. And you're gonna put your hands in front of you and watch yourself stretch back. Beautiful, okay, go ahead and sit back down on the floor. Now we're gonna do a little bit of acrobatics, basically. Um, so, uh, parents, you're gonna put your feet together, open your knees, and come onto your forearms. You don't wanna be on like a normal child's toes because it's a lot of pressure, but put your forearms down. And I have, I guess we talked about how to turn. Okay, all right, so kiddos, you can sit on your parent's bottom and lean all the way back. And parents, if you wanna, be a wiggly rock. This is lizard on a rock. It doesn't really wiggle, but it's more fun if it does. Or you can be on your belly and do Superman. -na -na -na. -na 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 -na. Okay, so play with that. You might have to pause the video to play with that. And when you're ready, we're going to our next move. Okay, so parents, you're on your back. The most important part of this is that your heels go on their hips and that you hang onto their hands really well, preferably not their wrists, just hang onto their hands, okay? And lift up. Let go. <laughs> I wish you could see her. I may so I can bend down a little bit. Dun, da, da, da. That is some core muscles right there. <laughs> okay. We all practice that. You can pause us if you want to, and we'll do our next move when you're ready. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the next move. So Avery is begging to do handstands and or and I I handstands hand not headstands yeah not on your head handstands I don't love teaching these to little guys if I'm not there but I know you parents are gonna take extra care with these guys so um what you're gonna do kiddos is you're gonna put your hands really close to the wall actually one second Avery let me move the screen just a little bit so you can see the floor there we go okay you're gonna put your hands really close to the wall. You're gonna let your head hang just a bit. It's actually better without socks on. Let me put those socks on there. There we go, okay. So you want some traction. So you put your hands close to the wall. You're gonna want their hands directly under their shoulders. Okay, not too close, but directly under your shoulders. And you're gonna, they're gonna walk their, they're gonna walk their feet close to their head, okay? Um, and at this point, you want them to scoop their belly. So try to get kiddos, try to, okay, first of all, first of all, Avery does this without any of these extra steps. So she's trying to just throw it up there, um, which she does well. But if you're learning it, you're gonna want your hands pretty flat on the ground so you're not up on your fingertips. You're gonna scoop your belly button so that um, your back is toward the wall. You have an arm right on one foot and you're gonna do little lifts Okay, so do little kicks. I know you can kick up, but just practice. Okay, so it's going to look kind of like that. And parents, you can help them up. Stop, stop. You can help them up. Don't push on their knees, but push on their thighs. Like your shirt. And bring them to the wall. Okay, and kiddos, to get this closer on your own, you're going to bring your knees together and sit your booty back. Sit your booty back just a little bit. Bring me back, baby. There we go. Okay, when you're ready to come down, you're gonna bend at the hip. There you go. All right, so practice that. You can pause us, but when you're ready, this is how we like to end our yoga classes, okay? All right, so you bring your knees together. If you're doing this with a bunch of kiddos, you might be in a circle. Go ahead and bring the little hands and the big hands and your foreheads together. And you're gonna tell each other something that you love about each other. We're gonna whisper ours really quietly. Okay, when you're all done, you're gonna say your special yoga words, namaste. Thank you guys for doing kids yoga with us and you have a great day. Bye-bye.